Vespa KRC20 confirmed for June 30th launch. Uh, awesome. That's unbelievable. So we have a launch date for June 30th. I was looking through uh, um, the internet here to see, uh, you know, what, what else I could find. But that looks like the launch date. If you don't know what uh, the KRC20 is, the KRC20 token standard is a token protocol on the that this one's on the KuCoin chain uh, is a direct copy of the ERC20 token protocol on Ethereum, but on the KuCoin community chain. That would be the Caspa, just like many other smart contract blockchains. Um, it uses uh, makes use of an Ethereum virtual machine. So smart contracts. Finally, um, I think that's massive for Caspa. And you know what? I was looking over here at this chart that I showed you yesterday. Caspa versus Bitcoin. Look at this. We got a breakout started on this thing. Uh, this is Caspa versus Bitcoin. Okay, the daily has poked a hole right through there. Um, so it looks like Caspa is going to run uh, against Bitcoin here. And when it takes off and runs against Bitcoin, you can see the past uh, past moves that's made here uh, when it's ran against Bitcoin. This first one here. Look at this one. This was a monster. Um, this was 220, 225% versus Bitcoin. This one over here was a 61.5%, okay? So we had a 61.5 and a 200. You know, this thing, if it breaks out the, the width of this wedge, all right, let's take a look here. Let's get a measurement, all right? We're gonna be fair. We're gonna go in you know, right about, you know, not way out here at the end we'll be fair about this okay this could be a monster move i mean there it is uh, that would be against bitcoin and you would be talking you know roughly a hundred percent versus bitcoin that's pretty much that's pretty massive so um yeah looking for a pretty decent run here uh for uh for caspa but we're going to take a look at that chart here in a second let's look at the crypto bubbles here real quick it's on the hour let's put it on the daily here there we go fetch fetch making a decent move i put out a video on fetch there uh agix uh caspa up 5.1 percent um and speaking of we had some uh, decent trades here the last few days i want to show you guys this is over in uh, uh discord here uh, check out some of these um had a really really nice one last night let me show you a couple of these yeah myro 151 percent that was last night that, that was a that was a massive trade uh 72 percent caspa um what else we got here we got uh 79 percent on pepe uh 47 percent on uh the rats that was march 26 there i apologize it's in with my pictures though on avalanche june 24 37 percent June 24th, BMB 62%. Uh, there's 1,000 rats and 95%. So, been hitting some pretty decent ones uh, uh, over there in Discord. Uh, thank you to the new members. Um, it keeps hanging right around that 200 mark. So, uh, if you're interested, it's a level three membership for $14.99. Get you uh, over 20 videos, over nine hours of videos to to help you start charting and it gets you a link to our discord to come over there uh, and start trading with us i put a i just put one out there each bar had uh, um, actually i put this uh, this is already out in discord you can see it's starting to bounce here now but on the 15 i put this out in discord a half hour ago we got a bullish divergence right here on each bar and so i put that out in discord for everybody um boy oh boy made a scary pullback here but but it's starting to bounce all right so we got that bullish divergence we'll see if it plays out this could end up being a pretty massive trade if we get the breakout of this resistance line um you know it could be big i'm on a 50x on this thing i got down here on the 618 I jumped in um, on the pullback so we'll see what happens you know you, can, you don't win them all that's how trading goes but uh, you know as long as you win more than you lose you can actually <laughs> lose more than you win and still be a profitable trader but uh, that's no fun you know you want to win most of them um, 
I think I was on a streak here the last few days. I won uh, last three days, 18 out of 20. So not too bad there. But anyway, let's move on here. I'm not bragging, guys. I'm just, you know, it feels good when you're on a little bit of a winning streak. So check this out. Have you guys ever seen this? I love this. Um, I've been, uh, I haven't looked at it for quite a long time, but it is pretty cool. Uh, give it just one second to load up here. Um, it's it's worth it. If you've never seen this before, it is absolutely 100% worth it. Let's give it one second. Could you please hit the like and subscribe while we're at it? Here it is. Yeah, check this out. This is the blockchain live. Okay. Uh, yep, Bitcoin. Looks like little South Park guys, don't it? You can click on the buses. You know, these are blocks. Once the block is full, uh, it takes off and uh, and heads off. Uh, you know, it'd be printed on the blockchain. But look at uh, this is Ethereum. Look at this line. You have uh, look at that. That's the low fee line. Seventy thousand people in line. Uh, that's down there at uh, um, that's the Discord there. Uh, and look at Bitcoin here. 89,000 people in the low fee line okay 89,000 I don't know how far this goes down I'm sure it goes down quite a long ways but it's pretty cool because the, the big transactions like the whale ones like uh, watch here I don't know why none are coming in the Bitcoin line here they should be coming up here maybe uh, that block looks like it's about full that bus you know maybe these are just waiting to finish up here all three of them they're all tagged together so once all three of these are done they'll take off you see how they're chunked together here uh, three three blocks at one time so once these are all full they'll take off and you can go up here and um, like click on this oops sorry and uh, you know you can click on I don't know let's click on Litecoin once pretty cool if, if you're wondering what the site is um, txcity.io slash eth dash uh, litecoin this one is but just go to uh, txcity.io uh, and uh, that'll take you over there you can go over there and uh, mess around it's pretty I love how they do it but anyway I wanted this to load up real quick because I wanted to show you like a uh, here we go all right now the, here's litecoin um, have you heard of the MVEB upgrade? Click on the second trailer for more info. It must be this little guy down here. Oh my god, look at all these guys. Well, wow. these, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. What are these, uh, extra carts on there or something? I don't know. It's pretty crazy. But, um, once, look at all, look at all these Litecoin ones. 633 transactions on Litecoin right now. It's crazy because you don't expect there to be um last block was five hours ago for eth the last block for litecoin uh three seconds ago is it getting ready to take off six seconds ago there it goes boom off to the blockchain <laughs> pretty cool right there a new bus pulls up and start loading her up there it goes look at all these guys coming yeah, I love it. It's cool. It's cool to, to just check it out and, and watch the, the blockchain live and see what's going on. I, I love it. It's a great way to give you, uh, you know, even to teach your kids, uh, you know, what the blockchain is. Um, I think I think it's awesome. You know, you get your kids on here, explain to them, you know, once, once the bus is full, takes off, that's a block. Uh, you know, it's heading for the blockchain. You know, it's done. Uh, guys are gone, but all these ones are, are guys waiting in line. Here's a big whale. All right, we're going to click on that one. Let's check it out here. We click on that hash. That should give us, uh, you know, you can check out the wallets. And here's on Etherscan. Um, this one here. Transaction fee was $11.49. Uh, value 0 0.00 ETH from two transfers. It's a success. I wanted to see uh, how much it was for. Okay, now this one 
the overview, the Ethereum balance, Ethereum value, 35 cents. But yeah, it's pretty, look at all, 15 seconds ago, 39 seconds ago, one minute ago. Wow, this person, this two minutes ago, three minutes ago, um, this address is pretty busy, definitely. Oops, I apologize, that must be uh, H bar, it's H bar starting to bounce here a little bit. All right, so I hope it pulls through for us here, guys. Pull down to a 786. If we get the bounce here, this this is going to end up being a nice move for H bar. We'll see. You know, we'll see what happens. Like I said, you don't want them all. Casper versus Bitcoin looking fantastic. Let's go over here and take a look at uh, uh, Bitcoin itself. See what's going on today. It's down 740 bucks. Still holding that low. Okay. Um, yeah, I did something yesterday here. When I was uh, playing around with um, my charts, you know, if we take a look at something here, if we go out on a monthly, right? And we all know we've we've all used uh, you, we all you guys have seen me use the trend-based fib and everything else. And uh, like, let's try it on this one once a trend-based fib and see how accurate it was with this top here, bottom to the top to the retracement all right it actually ended up going up a little bit higher on this one here okay at 51,000 ended up going up to 63 okay so that one ended up uh, you know your five wave inside of there what about this one here you got one two three four you know just to give us an idea where this could possibly you know low to the high to the retracement down here you know is that what we have left um, you know pretty common for a three six one eight for a, a, a third wave to to go around there so um, I don't know we'll see you guys 87,000 this has you know anywhere in the 80s you know what I mean um, we'll, we'll see what happens hopefully uh, we have this massive bull run coming yet. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see what happens here. But you know what I'm, I'm hoping for? I'm hoping for this right here. You know, the, uh, the Fibonacci on top here and that $200,000 Bitcoin. You know, even the 1618 goes up to 102. You know, you would think you would at least uh, hit the 1618 here. But, you know, that's what I was looking for, that 243. You know, and when I started doing videos, I told everybody, you know, uh, with the, with the RSI bull run re top retracement top bull run top should be a retracement. You always get a retracement back up, but this is going. Bitcoin is going through the retracement level here. It's up past the seven eight six. So, but you have bearish divergence down here. You have this top, you have a lower top. Okay. All right, let's go over to Casper here and see what's going on because it's starting to rain here. And I don't want you guys listening to the rain hit my roof. Casper's starting to move. It's up, uh, what, 2.27% at 16.5. All right, we're getting that break. We're getting up towards that 618 already. That's great. All right, that's what we want to see. We're going to find out a lot up here at 17.6. If we get a breakthrough, 18 cents, all right, if we break that 18 um, and break that 786, we could be heading for that 22 and a half cents next. So the daily RSI, about three quarters, half, maybe half the way up here, okay? Um, let's look at the three day and the five day real quick here. That's the daily. Here's the three day. The three day is just turning up. All right, the five day. The five day is just turning back up in the weekly. All right, that weekly is right at the top here. All right, and uh, of course you can see, you know, you got this top, you have a lower top so far coming in here. I'd like to see this take this out over here, but you do have a little bit of bearish divergence on the weekly here, temporarily, hopefully. You got this high. And you got a lower high right so but here you can see right here it's going to run up against that resistance right there you, it's going to be a big story of what happens whoops i'm sorry i knocked that off there but 
that uh, that RSI right there. Let me see if I can pull it up on this chart. I didn't mean to close it out. Damn, I wanted to see that. Let's pull that back up real quick because uh, that could turn out to be uh, of importance here. All right, we're just going to pull that uh, this of this one up um, right down here. Full screen it. All right, you can see Casp is going to run into. Set the settings here. Please hit the like and subscribe, guys. And yeah, that's enough. But yeah, consider signing up for that uh, level three. I would uh, very much appreciate it. it. Helps really helps the channel a ton. Have no idea. Really, uh, let's see here. But anyway, you're gonna have this resistance line coming down right through here. All right, and the price action is going to come up there and hit that. Is it going to break through it or not? All right. Oops, sorry about that. Got something off the table there. Cup. But anyway, we'll keep an eye on this. A break through this resistance, and this thing could really start flying. All right. So, Caspa is looking decent, and uh, and we're going to keep an eye on this thing. But heading up towards them retracement levels, you can see here we're almost at that 618 at 171. So looking very, very good so far. Keep an eye on that. A break through that, uh, what, 18.1, 18.2, and, and look out. This thing could really start going. You know, I'm looking for higher prices with the three-day and the five-day heading up. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I will talk to you very soon. Have a great day, everybody, and uh, thank you.